Hello everybody and welcome, this is Roland for Graphic in Motion here on Video Hive. Today I have to say sorry at first, sorry for my bad voice, I have a really hard cold, but this can stop me from preparing this template and this tutorial for you guys. So I will give you a quick introduction on how to use this template. You saw in the preview maybe that the template has uh, many of these tapes where you can insert your titles or your logo like in the beginning and at the end here. And in between we have these placeholders where you can insert your photos or your videos and also these tapes where you can give them titles. And I will just show you very quickly how to customize all of this. So the first thing we want to do is to change the logo in the beginning and maybe the subtext here. For that we take a look at the area here. There are two important folders for you guys if you want to customize it and there is the title placeholders folder and there is the footage placeholders folder. We will start with the titles placeholders folder. Here you can see that title 1 to title 14 are just the titles like this one or also like the small ones down here. And then we have uh, some special titles and there we have the logos. This is the first one here, the your logo here. Composition is this one and the end logo is the one in the end. So you can put in something else here. You don't have to use the same as in the beginning. And you also find the subtitle here and the subtitle end logo here. These are these small titles, you know, you see the first title has a subtitle and this subtitle is exactly this composition and the second, the 14th subtitle is the last one. Um, this one also has a subtitle and this is this composition here. If you want to take a look on where everything is, you just have to enter the animation composition by double clicking on it and now we need some more room here and now you can see exactly where we find each composition each title and below here you find all the placeholders so you know where you are and you know what you are updating so it's probably better just to open up the animation composition when you are customizing this template so i will stay here and i will start first thing we want to do is we want to replace the logo and the subtitle here you see we can just open up the composition. You know, if you are directly open it from here, you will just enter the uh, two pre-compositions. So I don't recommend to do it like this. You could, of course, do it, but better you just... Let's close this down again. Better is you really just move here to these folders I made and you just uh, select here the your logo here composition. I'm sorry. And I double click on it and now I am in this composition where we can work. Now I just import my logo. I will go to file, import file. And now I will search my logo and put OK. I will put it on top here and just disable this for a moment. Now it is a little bit big so I will press S on this key keyboard and scale it down. And because I already have my text under my logo so I will just disable this for now and we'll leave it like it is. What you also could do is to change the blending modes. You know when you take a look at the Envato logo I used the blending mode linear burn because it makes kind of a look that it's printed on this old tape. So if I do the same with my logo we will check out how this looks. I take the linear burn blend mode and you see it looks like yeah it's really on this old tape. So I will leave it like this for now and I can go always back into my animation or also my render comp to check the final composition and I really like it so I will go to the next step. If you want to change the title I will show you very quickly how to do that. This is the title one so first title we have the title one here and I double click on this composition and now you see here is the title. By the way, the font I used for this project is a free font. You can download it from the internet. I put the link on the description on VideoHive for this template. There you will find it. 
So we want to change the first title and we just double click on it and now we can type in whatever we want. We say hello guys or whatever, you know, and this is finished. We can go back to our animation and we can see the title updated. Okay, now I want to go to the placeholders where you just can import your movies or your photos. You will find all the footage placeholders, as I called them, in this folder. And if you open it up, you see that we have 12 placeholders here because we have 12 frames for your footage. So we will open up the first placeholder by double clicking it. Inside this composition, you see only this placeholder one JPEG and we want to replace it with a photo or just a a photo or a video on top of it. So I will go to file, import file, and I'm already in my folder where I have the photos from our last holiday. I already used these photos and videos for the preview video if you saw this one. I just will choose one of these. Yeah, I say this is a very nice one. I like it. And now I have to be careful because he wants to import a JPEG sequence, what I don't want. I just want a single picture. Okay, now we've got it here and I will just place it on top. And now you can see, okay, this is absolutely not the right size. So I will scale it down. And yeah, let's say I want to put it in like this. And I'm done. If I go to the animation or also the render comp, you can see what happens with this picture now, you know. I will just put it on half resolution to improve the quality a little bit that you can really see the changing of the color correction and this the creation of this vintage look so if i go back this is the original picture and in the final animation it gets this really awesome vintage look so the same thing you can do with videos of course you know i will just delete this now and let's say i want to import the video i also go to file import file move to my folder where I have my videos. I will just search something very quickly, which we can take a look at. I don't know. I made so many stupid videos with my GoPro camera. So maybe I just will take this one for now, open it, drag it here on top of the placeholder. And you see this is completely this, the wrong size, but it doesn't matter. I press S on the keyboard and I scale it so that it fits and maybe I position it. Let's say I want him already to drive, you know, but I don't want to waste too much time now. Let's say this is okay. We're just starting here. And if I go back to the animation, you see again, the awesome vintage look is taking over. If I want to change the text, which is down here now, it's more or less the same as I already showed you. You just enter the title placeholders folder and uh, we just take a look at which title we are. This is the title two. So we double click on the title two here and we see this is exactly the. And now we write down what a nice journey or whatever you want. And we go back, check it in the animation. Everything is updated. And here the render comp is more or less the same, only the animation pre-comp. Well, um, one more thing I want to show you. If you want to change the look of this template, there are two very easy possibilities. You see, if you take a closer look at the, the video, you don't have to start cleaning your screen. These dirt and scratches are really just part of the composition. And you see in the animation composition, oops, I just created a text layer, sorry. In the animation composition, there is the dirt layer. And if you, this is a texture. And if you just disable it, you see that the dirt is gone. If you prefer this look, no problem, very easy. But I prefer the real vintage dirty look, you know, so I will keep it. And the second thing I just wanted to show you quickly is how to change the color correction. The color correction is here on the layer called CC, what means color correction for me. 
and I just have to enter the effect controls after color correction and now you see that this is only a curves adjustment and I made some changes to the RGP channel I just increased the contrast a little bit here and then I increased the red channel a little bit and I just decreased the green and you know you can really create your own look now if you want so let's say you want to have it really greenish so like this probably and you don't want so much red make it a more a colder look then maybe this is what you're searching for you can play around with the settings create your own look or as always use the template like i set it up and so it's very easy and fast to use I think that there is really nothing more to say for this template. It's very easy to customize, but if you have any further questions, just feel free to drop me a mail through my video hive profile and I will answer you as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching this. Uh, have a nice holiday and be sure to make a nice movie afterwards using this template. See you guys. Bye.